Coaster, we're back with your favorite video game. I'm excited to watch you hunger fearfully. Look at these saves. His face with time code, his face with time code, his face with time code. <laughs> it implies that there will be other faces, maybe. Yes, or other disasters. Who knows what could happen? Leave. So, last time we finished the mess of going through that weird basement, we got a telemeter device. And when I interacted with it, it said something along the lines of us needing to connect all of them to do the thing. Which was mostly noise. I have no idea what it's talking about. But it implies that there was more of the telemeter like the one I found. And we got out, and one of the guys from the Grid of Faces was like, Haha, could you open that gate for me? Just help me out there anyway. See you later, killing you later. Haha, <laughs> jokey funny man. Uh... And so we're still trying to get in the city, presumably, but also have yes. maybe an additional task of wondering what's up with those underground pistoning thingies, what I've done one of now. Uh, I don't remember if I got like a key item of some kind, but well, we really do just carry a bunch of body arms, body limbs, uh, body parts around all the time. Like, circle door is going to be easy this time. Small key. I don't think we got the small key. I'm trying to remember if we got like an actual key. Eagle brass key. Brass key were the accrued insignia of the Bremen National Animal Black Eagle. Animal, comma. Or no, colon. Yes. Black Eagle. <laughs> Basement key. From the woodsman. Okay, we've been there. Sewer winch. That didn't really... I guess there's lids somewhere. We can open them with that. Yeah, I think that'll be useful. I think it means, like, sewer grating. Like, we can yeah, pull open I the think, grating. I think we're somewhat back to dangerously probing the environment for what to do next. But we had a real big spike of proggers last time. We're poggers for proggers. Indeed. We have made quite a bit of, of progress, I, I think. I still have no party members. It's nighttime now. The end of the first day. Which stresses me out, but I'm just accepting the idea that I'll save at big when big amounts of work were done, and I'll probably inevitably have to start over eventually and retrace my steps, and that'll just be life. Because that's what the first game was like anyway, even without this added stressor. Where we just go back into the horrible moon scorched city? Like I'm, I'm trying to uh, think. You can of... go in the sewers. Oh, the sewer is to the side of the city also. Yep. Yep. Just to keep something in. It looks like someone is standing still in the darkness. That's horrifying. I don't like that. Let's see, so for the sewers, we can loop. We can go through the part of the woods that had the train. And then come out via the docks and then like because the sewers were by that where where that one guy jumps out to shoot at us when we're following the reporter. Yes. So going through the city would be undo Denjar on the way to the sewers. Wow, we can't see shit now. We cannot. We're so primed for jump scars. Now if I accidentally the the mouse anywhere on the screen, it'll be extremely apparent. <laughs> Right, so here's the abandoned houses. So we're almost back to the train. The additional, the addition of dialogue movement, uh, diagonal movement is incredibly strange and kind of off-putting. I see how they're doing at night. If anyone's still here, if they've yeah. been massacred, we have some chalk now, so we can interact with people. The others left for the city. I guess they were tired of waiting. The doc said he'd get some help here as soon as possible. He decide to stay in the at the train? Something bad going on. Bad? What do you mean? The town's gone crazy. This sounds like the plot of a suspense movie. I'm worried about the others. We look for them? They couldn't have gotten far yet. It's been, a, like, most of a day. <laughs> they could have gone anywhere. Am I gonna see the door slam shut? 
One thing I wanted to say, because it's been bugging me since we got introduced to that character, and I finally put a face to, like, the character. The character's art looks remarkably similar to comedian and actress Siobhan Thompson. Oh. So if you need, if they ever make a Fear and Hunger movie, <laughs> the botanist Olivia can be played by Siobhan Thompson. Don't worry. It's safe here. No answer. Oh. I I'm not coming out until... Is Marina still in the other cabin? Who She's is Marina? Not. You don't know? She's the one with the light hair, with the bangs. She is special. How do you know her? Ah, uh, I I don't know her. Never mind. My assumption is they're hiding from her because Marina's like yeah. a cult. <laughs> No, she isn't. I see. <laughs> they seem genuinely scared. Not coming out until she's gone, then I say she's not here, and then... I don't think she's coming out regardless. Who are you? No one, just... A lonely caterpillar waiting to shed her skin. Like the little girl in the first game. Oh no. Free your skin. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can now do chalk. What? So we have the top one, which is grow growth, and then that. That middle one, which is the god Marina mentioned, I think, right? Was Gogoroth the increase your strength one? Yes, the was top the... one is increase your strength. I wonder what it'll do. Give us magic, probably. Give us access to a skill tree. We already have a skill tree. The ritual circle doesn't seem to react to your drawing. Hmm. Oh, do you have to draw the correct and... drawing? And what what I meant by give us access to a skill tree is I think it would increase our affinity with Grogoroth, sort of like in the original game, yeah. where it would allow us to Maybe put the spheres in the sphere grid. Yeah. There's like a radius thing going on there. I guess maybe we did the wrong drawing. Maybe to do specific ones that complement or finish the existing circle. No, it's just confusing because she said that was a perfection circle. So I just assumed. Maybe, the, maybe you can only do the god of perfection there. It just seems like all of the ones that we've been able to draw and look like that, so... Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Matt Riverside. I'm approaching the Foreskin Monsters. I mean, Forsaken Monsters. <laughs> Always remember to wash under your Forsaken. Yep. Free your skin. <laughs> Freaks as bad as everything Freaks. else here. Yeah. Oh, is that a love letter? Is it a letter for me? I was just gonna point out, like, oh, it's cool. There's little like water animations. Like stuff actually flows. It's cool. Yeah. A lot of sewer here. Did I go left originally? Yes. I went left last night. Okay, so that definitely gets to the, the monsters. Yeah, that's where the monsters come out. Pro procrastinate on that one for a bit. Just walk across the poopy, it's fine. Just a little poopy. Be braver in the death sewers. You really gonna let this stop you? This melange of fecal matter? There's like no music in this section, it's all just like... No, it's just ambient. Yeah. I'm so I'm brave right now the... because there's no progress to lose. <laughs> yeah. I'm just waiting for like the Elden Ring invader <laughs> shit invader from the sewers in that game to pop back up. Oh no. He's gonna steal your stool, soul right out of your butt. Steal your stool. Seems like a mistake. Why can I walk on this? 
I believe in you. You've yeah. been getting so lucky. I got, it pays. I got an EP wow. mask. I got an EP mask. It Look pay, at me. You no, it's EP because I'm EP. It's a I'm fencing feel, mask. I, I'm, I'm feeling EP. <laughs> uh, well, it's not as good as your stalled time, so or stalled helm. I, I can't. I couldn't read it. I wasn't paying attention. Identical. 94, 94, 94, 90, 97, 87, 97, 97. Wait, why is it weak? It's it isn't particularly to, defensive. It's weakest against piercing against. the thing that fencing is. <laughs> no, the game is opposite. The no. lower the percentage, the that means that it does that much damage, I think is what that's saying. You're saying that it ta yeah, I take 80% damage against piercing and I take 97% yes. damage against fire. Yes, I think that's what it's saying. Text against concussion. So, yeah, the Stahlhelm is going to be I it think, is, better. It overall. isn't no, it says it isn't particularly defensive against piercing attacks. Except against piercing attacks. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And since most of the stuff we fought has been slashing and uh blunt Go up the ladder. Ah, okay. Now I will. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm not done here yet. But then that happens. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Run behind him, Pokemon style, so he doesn't was, turn around and see you. That was just so unnerving in that he got up. And then he just stood perfectly still. So it was like a, it was just a staring contest fake like moment of like, are you an NPC? Do I talk to you? <laughs> it's, like, it's like that first zone in Dark Souls 3 where two different NPCs are use enemy character models and you're supposed to just somehow notice that you can talk to them. And I'm like, do I, how do I feel about this one? They're <laughs> playing dramatic music at me right now. Destiny's walking behind you. So. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you have to fight them both. Uh, crazed man, man runs you at you in a blind fury. Uh, have you considered having limbs? Uh, so if I try to run away from him, it'll, it'll just instantly restart the fight again, won't it? Uh, they one of them will be stopped moving. But the enemies move before you do, so you'll get attacked by the 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 fur foreskin monster. <sighs> I know which arm to go after. Fuck you, axe. He's weak to axes, like most humans. Ow. What? Ow. Yeah, you're infected. Yikes. Stop. Oh my god. Yikes. How are you tackling me? You, all of your limbs are gone. <laughs> <sighs> this guy just pogo sticked at me. <laughs> his limbs, his, you can't, you're not, you didn't cut off their legs. You just, you wounded his leg. Yeah, he but he's just, hobble. he's just so far gone at that point that he's just fucking pogo sticking at me. It's wild. Well, time to get back there real quick. How is your day, Toaster? Just kidding, I've been here the whole time. You have been. <laughs> this is not the best sleeping spot for this. You do have to do like the whole run again. Then your stam runs out. I did want to explore more of the downstairs area, but then the foreskin monster appeared. And that turned out to be not the most effective strategy running away anyway, because I just created new problems for myself. I, uh, I never got to try Fear and Hunger 1's evasion mechanics outside of combat, but I feel like they're harder now, because the enemies can move diagonally. Yeah, you, you couldn't it's... move diagonally in Fear and Hunger 1 either, so if everything was on a grid and now it's all freeform, so it definitely might yeah. be tougher... It's just the fact but, that they can, they can move towards you down a hallway while simultaneously heading you off. So they can just yeah. wobble back and forth like a perfectly trained, like, Pong AI. Yeah. And so it's suddenly like, how do I jukes this guy? What the f- He's just- It's just an arrow hallway and he- I can't even, like, 
use him moving forward or sideways against him and having to choose between the two because he can just slide in my way while approaching me. Yeah, I think I think it it means we have to make really quick decisions like you know, you go to turn down a hallway and y you oh, don't the have guy. the leeway of having like having like five or six different, you know, moments where you can you can uh, go like, oh, there's another monster thing. It's like the second you see their sprite, you just have to be like, all right, turning around, going somewhere else. Like there's there's nothing. You have to be way quicker on your toes in this game, I think, than, than we did in the first one. Well, bad news about me. It's OK, we'll beat it into you. Or I'll just You're getting so lucky. I can always just stubbornly never learn like I did with Sekiro. Which is scary. I can just it, beat entire games while never learning how to play them. Look at me go. It's so distressing. <laughs> so why would, why explore would over you here? Say, why not continue? Would you say it's the dark side of gaming? Look at the head guy. It's certainly sad. Do, do, do. <laughs> it's, it's how I feel about it. Oh, hey, this is the other side of this loop. We made it all the way yeah. around. Hi. Just me. <laughs> it, it, it farted. It made a fart noise at me. We've got fart noise, fear, and hunger. What we've reached. All right, well, I finished exploring this entire downstairs. There's nothing else. I did you it. You did. Now I can go up here. Figure out if there's anywhere else to go. And also, I'm okay. feeling hungry. Not that hungry, though. You are. <laughs> okay, so if I go no, top, go I get down, trapped. Down. So I'm going to go down yeah. and also get trapped. Never believe how trapped I can become. Now go up to the left. On down Main Street. There you go. Okay. Mid tunnels of the sewers. These are not. The these smell are not, of filth they, and feces is almost too overwhelming. Oh. These are not the tunnels finest. They're mid at best. Yeah. I think oh. you can walk on that. Can you? I don't think so. No, I guess not. In my head, it was a bridge, I guess. I thought there Got was weird, one of them that was. There's like a weird cleft between them. Yeah. Uh, boxes. Yellow vial. That's just, that's just pee. Rats, you found pee in the sewer. What a, what it's a, salty. What a, what a, what a relic. Weird floor? Soak a bomb puzzle box. Don't go in there, it will an enemy's gonna Ooh, fall. Cool rat man. Yeah. This is just leading you back to where you were. Yeah. You're just back in that direction, yeah. Old dead ends and stuff. You think the rat man's friendly? No. Why can't anyone be friends with me? Um There you go, you can block it off. Push it up one more. Just block the go. rat. Now the enemy. That's the entire goal. Yeah now, the en yeah, now the enemy can't get you. I was wondering if we could push it into the water and it like float, or I don't think so. I can't. I can't get behind it though, unless I could loop around. So far, I haven't had much idea what to do with the blocks I've encountered. Yeah, I don't know. Don't like this, push it because it will yeah, get stuck. It'll trap me. It's only a shortcut for the other direction. Look yeah. at these Pokemon ass block puzzles. Dirty toilet paper, yummy. Wow. Your favorite. I'm so happy he chose to, to pick that up when he saw it. Sticking a note, sticking a pin in that ladder for later. I think it's basically the only way for you to go. Well, I've never been here yet. I've got a complete explorer. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why completely exploring is not good. Because <laughs> well, the enemy's to gonna know. come for you. Our goal is to explore. Captain Hindsight over here. Oh, thing didn't work out in the things don't work out video game. <laughs> no, go go back up. Go back up. Go back that's to a the new, map. Uh that's a new spot to know exists. 
We can keep that in mind. I'm still exploring. Look, a chest. There's a chest over here, Toaster. You know, Toaster didn't want me to find that chest, everybody, but I did. I found the chest. <sighs> Look at me go, everybody. I found the chest, even though Toaster told me not to find it specifically. It's like, that chest? No, don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ear earlier in this playthrough, you were like, no, I'm not going to pick up any of the herbs. That's a bad idea, because I'll have to spend five four minutes times doing in the it. Same room and the game was, and the game was like, replay it. the same room again. <laughs> we're, we're still exploring. I had already explored that area. I knew where all the herbs and chests were, and I was like, okay, well now let's try to actually make progress, because I'm not fucking grabbing that stuff every single run. A crude gas mask made out of pigskin. It's not the most reliable protection against toxic gases, but better than nothing. Okay. So it gives me plus defense. I don't currently have reason to think durability exists in this game, so I should probably just wear it, right? Even though it's weird that it's a, a accessory slot. Yeah. Reflexively, the part of me that played Pathologic is like, oh, I can't I can't waste it oh, if I need it later. But I don't think it what breaks. Do I look piggy? I don't, I don't think anything breaks. No, that's not the way that it worked in the original either. I, so. I look distinctly unpiggy. I guess you can turn something on in the sewage plant. Read the instructions. Water pressure must be maintained at the minimum of 50% to not create cloggages in the sewage <laughs> system. Mixing the word blockage and clog. Cloggages. As a safety precaution, you can only disable 50% of the water pipes coming from the western Prehavel to 50% of the water pipes coming from eastern Prehavel. It was that last bit. Oh yeah, because you just don't want to turn it. Oh, I'm getting spooked. What can go wrong? Uh oh. Oh. Actual puzzles. Neat. Oh, I'm scared. Where am I? So you have to figure out the way to only do 50% of each. I mean, I think that's it. And this is gonna. It's just it's that gonna cut way around. Off. Yeah, it's good. Well, I mean, it's gonna cut off a specific pathway. So the whole point now is how do we get across yeah. to whatever these are? And, or where yeah. I am and what to interpret about that path. Yeah. And how to use that information. Intriguing. I don't actually know what I'm doing. He won't walk. Oh, he won't walk through that because his poopies. Oh, this is the his... puzzle. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was the overall dungeon, not just this room. Oh, I no, to, no. I, I just need to make a path lets me go somewhere, and this ladder's not doable right now. Yeah. And all You'll probably poopies. have to go back to it a few times to, like, you, you open up a path to the ladder, then climb up the ladder, but it's going to need to be a different shortcut there, so yada yada. And there's, there's boxes the in front rooms. of doors. I see. Very interesting. I wonder if this is going to work exactly the way I think it is. Let's see. Blocking from yeah. the side. Yep. So we'll have to move the boxes and you'll have to find a way to... And then we need to memorize to the solution the for when we have to resolve this when I die seven times. Spooky barrel. Hmm. That didn't change. That one did not change. Nope. The box in the water. Hanging. And now I can't reach this one. Okay, so I guess I should try to let's switch the right one. I guess that because that room's probably the one place to go right now. Oop. That'll switch the other one. Is this the same there you go, yeah. rooms for a minute ago or a new one? It is not. This is a new one. Okay. You gone, box? <laughs> Cool. <laughs> yeah, and now you should be able to open that door and climb up through it. Put the ladder down. 
Yeah. Drop Dark it. Dark Souls. The store is not open from the side. The store is not open from the side. Door? You'll never, you'll never guess. That's over from the side. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Ouch. Aha. Figured I'd do it in fewer clicks. Anything to accomplish over here before I go the other way to the unblocked door? Uh? I don't trust any of these ever. The Western tunnels. You just got You gotta commit, I guess. Like when you're, it, it, that's the thing that's like, kind of scary about it now. Is like, you just, you have to. If you're gonna hold left, you just gotta be prepared to run left. <laughs> yeah, don't stop I, when anything comes at you. You I gotta was gonna run. Have to just run for it if if anything came sloughing out of the tunnels. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Every time there's an overhead tunnel, I'm like, all right, well. <laughs> Here comes the foreskin yep. monster. Guess we cutting, just gotta run from it. Cutting off my exploration. Ironically, really, given that he's not cut. Ha! Huh. I guess I'm fucked here. Like, yeah, I can't get around I don't know. it. Couldn't tell you. Wait. What if I was really smart, though? Huh? Mm -hmm. What if I was a clever boy? I'm waiting. Doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm so smart and clever. You did it. You knocked it. Goodbye, stupid box. Uh, yeah. I appreciate the off-camera, like the noise cue indicating you'd accomplish something because there's so many games that would just not give you anything helpful. Be careful about moving it. Do you think I can push it past the doorway? I don't know. I don't think I can't, so. Because I can't pull it, so... Yeah, so I think it's saying... Uh, you need to... I could, okay. Okay, you could. Whew. Is it going to be another machine for you to turn on and then an imposing monster Maybe. follows you? We still have the left path to keep in mind, too. The air down here is heavy, moist, and musky. It's cold down here. Musky and cold is not the combo I expect. Uh, my body and mind are both poopy butts. Mind heal. Vodka. Why not? Vial. There we go. I'm doing okay. Now let's do a heat, a food eating. Wow, look at me go. Okay. I'm basically a god of video games. Uh, watch mm. me die in one hit whenever something happens down here. God of video games. Who Evil did not. rat, naked rat. He's a naked mole rat. Get it? It's pretty down here. I'm definitely gonna die soon. A pile of rotting bodies. That's not what I thought that was. Censored. Yeah, I think it's censored. Must be censored. I thought it was. Uh, I think I you're interacting with something that's not displayed. Yeah, because it won't let me go further up over here. Yeah. I just put a little knapsack there to tell you can interact with something. All around this. I don't think that's a knapsack. Sprite. That's a... Isn't that a, a broken... The head of a broken statue? That's what it looks like. Maybe. It's like two it, eyes and a nose. It kind of looks like a little pack. It's okay. The naked mole rats are more afraid of me than I am of them. No! I'm not allowed to fail. What will my audience think of me now? There he is again.
They're gonna starve. I'm gonna take all their penny buns. The natural food of rat men. Hello? You're gonna get to the bottom here and find the rat king. Yeah. You, which will be unimpressive because they'll all just be stuck to each other and unable to pursue me. Someone dropped their bag. Oh, here. I guess it is a bag. Yeah. Vodka and five blue vials. You should use the vodka because your uh, your sanity is decreasing because you're scared. It's doing okay. Vodka's oh, like thirty percent. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Don't use it then. Oh, so many vials. Craft item. Build like sweater. And I don't care. Wow. Ready to craft some vegetable pies. Nice. I still can't do anything with my healing items that's of use. Besides just quaffing them. Or scoffing them, as Password would say. He's just having a bad time. I'm amused that they censored the butt. Oh, the blue disappeared. Hmm. The howling is making me nervous. You think Moonless is down here? I mean, if Moonless is down here, that would be you fucking You hear something rad. large approaching you. Something is charging at you from the shadows. Ah. Uh... Run. Suicide. <laughs> you can't. You can't attack because there's. You can't see it. So. You think I should see it or should I run? You can. You can try to talk if you want to. <gasps> it moonless. is moonless. Hey. Creature's too far away to initiate a conversation. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Is it moonless? It looks like moonless. Um. Wait, does moonless only have? It has three eyes now. It used to have four, didn't it? Maybe. <clears> hey, <throat> is it sitting? Is his tail out? I hey. can't tell. Too far away for a conversation. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Moonless beast torso. Oh my god. Does it have anything else? Does it have anything... Just It's just the body that you can target? You can't target the limbs? Nope, you just attack it. Dang. I either attack it or I try to talk to it. <laughs> uh, it worked before. We can try it. The creature's too far away to talk? Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Huh. <laughs> can you, can you get the, oh. Moonless Interesting. Moonless is really hulked out. The uh. sword on the right is the sword that you find in Fear and Hunger 1, the katana. The and ghost katana. And then there's like, it looks like Nightmare's Blade from Soul Calibur. Yeah, and that does, it does look like the Soul Edge. That's a very big moonless. I don't think you can recruit this one. That seems on. It'd be very funny to see that sprite just turned around as a party member. <laughs> just this hulking huh. nightmare. Blacks, you can attack the weapons. Yeah, yeah. Attack the My weapons. Asthma. Maybe if you. Maybe if you you destroy them, it'll leave you alone. Maybe. Let's go. Let's attack Black Steel. I guess this can't go well. I'm so fucked. I'm gonna die in one turn. I helped you. Ow! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Rude. See, here is where I get impatient about the item pickups. <laughs> I'm re-clearing the area. 
That was a big bad. It's rough dealing with the uncertainty of like, should I run? Should I try to do something here? Yeah. It's like curiosity is the only way you accomplish anything, but it also kills you nine times out of ten in the first game. <laughs> What's this yellow guy up to? Oh, I don't have legs now. Lesson learned. <laughs> Lesson you can only learn by loading your save. Serene run through the sad boy forest. Oh, man. What? Just it was cool. That was a cool reveal. <laughs> Moonless is sick. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. I think the Moonless is more of an axolotl this time, where it's just you, you either fight it or you don't. But you're not gonna. I don't think you're recruiting yeah. Moonless. I'm wondering. So, so th this is this is where I uh, I reveal that I have I have since finishing Fear and Hunger one learned quite a bit more about that game and like its story and it is interesting because there is a the 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 fact that that sword is in moonless implies something really cool which is i'm pretty sure in fear and hunger one in the character specific endings um Ragnavaldr has that sword. Uh, or it's imp it's implied that he obtains that sword, um, I believe, in his run. So did Ragnavaldr and Moonless fight? That's interesting. Like it, makes, it makes you wonder like what the canon one is. Like, did, did Moonless yep. canonically never get recruited? Uh, I think... I, I do have one other piece of information that I can't really, I don't really know for sure if it's accurate, but I, since we've played Fear and Hunger 1, I have seen the, the S rank endings for all of the characters in that game. Uh, and I, I waited until after we played it, but I saw them and in one of them, Enki, the, um, <laughs> The necromancer, um, or the dark priest, I should say. Basically, their S rank ending is them saying, like, you know what, actually, fuck the gods, uh, fuck enlightenment. I'm I'm gonna figure everything out on my like enlightenment is a journey, it's not a destination. Uh -oh. And I'm pretty sure they're the person that wrote the skin bible that we found. Which is also really interesting. I could have misunderstood that, but I think that's what happened there. So you think the book that we found earlier was written by Enki? Yeah. Well, I think that I think that all of the skin Bibles are written by Enki because we've we've found two. I think now we found one for Grogoroth and one for Rare. Um. Or Rahair, or, or whatever the the trickster god's name is. So I think possibly those are written by Enki. Um, I guess you have you, you have have you looked up the the S rank endings? Have you seen them? Uh, no. Yeah. So I don't remember all of the details. Wow, we're getting way worse drops now. Um, mm -hmm. The there the few things that I know. Ooh, did you trap him? You did. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that or not. <laughs> oh, he's oh, having a boy. bad time. Awkwardly start a fight with you? You can try to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Hey, buddy. Right. Oh, no. Eh. Can't make any sense of the rat can speak. <laughs> oh. 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 I love taking every possible hit. The trapping uh, trapping so, was not my goal. Yeah, no, that was not. I, want, I wanted to push. Useful. I wanted to push the block in the water. Yes, that was a, that is a but, better goal. Yeah, I, I I did this whole thing to trap to put the the block in the water, but the, the act of trying to do that trapped him there. I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> that's not. 
It's not helpful. Yeah. Time to do another long jog. <laughs> uh, you're so, so far away from the place we're trying to explore. So to get you up to speed, and the reason why I'm bringing it up, I think, is just because it's it's framing the context with which I am understanding some of the things that we've seen so far in this game. But the the S rank endings for Fear and Hunger One are really strange, and I'm I am led to believe, just by the way that they've played out and the way that this game is set up, that the I think it was ending C of Fear and Hunger One is largely canon. In Which that, Lagar that's the one where Lagarde becomes the Yellow Emperor, because I'm pretty sure that's him on the title screen. Is the weird yellow king looking guy? That's yeah, my guess. That's, that's one of his forms when you're fighting him. Yeah, and then it says that like when when you escape the the dungeons of fear and hunger or whatever, like Lagarde just like lives and is forever young and is this like beautiful emperor in Rondon. And even though this game seemingly takes place like a you know a couple centuries later or whatever, like a thousand years later, uh, I would not be shocked if it's if, just still him. If it's still him, Griffith. exactly. Yeah. Uh, like so you were guts losing to Griffith and having to just watch him build his empire anyway. Yes, exactly. So I'm pretty sure it's like a combination of like ending E or wherever, whatever, where we escape and the ending where Lagarde becomes uh, the Yellow Emperor. I don't remember exactly which ones that were. So I think that happens. I also think that all the S rank endings are canon in some sense. So the summary on those is that in Ragnavaldr's S rank ending, what you have to do to get it is you have to kill like every single bestiary oh, entry Batman. in the game. You have oh. to destroy every single enemy at least once and collect Genocide like a bunch of rare ending. items. Yeah. And in it, uh, Ragnavaldr becomes like the god of the hunt. And it's basically just like Ragnavaldr oh. is incredibly powerful. <laughs> yeah. The bottom of the screen just it said suicide's always an option. <laughs> Rude. D don't do it, Keith. You have so much to live for. Um, you behaved differently that time. That sucks. Yeah, that was weird. But uh, but yeah. So in Ragnavaldr's ending, he becomes like the god of the hunt, and I'm pretty sure that's why he has that katana as well. I don't know about the miasma sword. That one was weird. I don't I don't recognize that from the game at all. I've just but, never found um, it. Yeah, we just I don't think we ever found it. It might have been the Claymore, I'm not sure. There was just a uh, whole hiccups. lot of video game. Yeah. Uh Enki forsakes enlightenment, like the the or ascension, and instead chooses to chase enlightenment and becomes like a, a scholar of the gods, which is why I think he's the one that wrote the the skin bible. Anki, more like Aldia. Uh, yeah, exactly. The third option, um, the the enlightened centrist. Oh. Ooh, we're Where in the city again. Am I? This is the ladder I skipped earlier. Yeah. I'm scared. Uh, Kahara, the mercenary, the character we played as, uh, becomes, I think, a like. Uh, well-respected person like his his story ends the most plainly like he just like goes back and uh he you do all the treasure maps remember that random mechanic that got introduced yeah we the met one maps. character once about a treasure map and he's and he's like hey there's some treasure maps probably and then we never saw him yeah again. so you you do the treasure maps and then the guy obviously is like, I'm going to kill you because you did all my treasure maps. And then uh, I believe what happens is you get the y Kahara just like goes back home and marries his his sex worker uh, mistress. <laughs> evil cop. All cops are evil, Keith. That's not helpful. Crits are locked with multiple locks. I can't lock pick more than one lock. That's impossible. <laughs> That guy's not good. That's not. Oh, that's. Oh, come go that way. Oh, that's a weird roof. <laughs> this perspective is really hard to read sometimes. 
It's really hard to tell what I'm looking at sometimes. Oh, this is a but, hole. Um, okay. And then the, uh, the final uh, ending. Ah, uh, uh, look at. That's very the like. Final are you my mummy? Yeah. <laughs> but so the the last one is Darce's ending, which I think is is probably canon. In that, if I remember correctly, the way you get Darce's ending, Lagarde has to die, I think. And then she does a bunch of stuff and she like revives his corpse and he becomes a terrifying flesh monster. Yeah, I think I read that her hard mode ending is that you have to you have to you have to revive uh revive Lagarde with necromancy. Yeah. Lucky coin. So I don't know how accurate that um, is. The fuck was that? Nice. You see that guy? No. Oh what the fuck? All right, Bloodborne, calm down. So yeah, I don't know what oh, endings are specifically canon. Oh, he shot ya. I'm leaving. You got grazed. Did I? Yeah, that's what oh, I yeah, said I lost at the like I lost like 10 health, yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> I got really unnerving. <laughs> Things just kept getting worse very quickly. Did we ever get an answer about why you would light candles? Does it make you lose less sanity in that room or something? It's 1435. Uh, I, I wonder if that's a code. Bear trap. That's a normal thing to have in your luggage. It's useful. Average video game staircase. But so the, the reason why I was bringing up all those endings and why I wanted to talk about them is because I think. When you think of the game through that, it starts telling more of a story of what these weird interactions are. And so I'm sitting here looking, I'm like, you know, obviously thinking about Moonless and like looking at the sprite and stuff and like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a sword there. So maybe Moonless was with Ragnavalder and then fought Ragnavalder or something. Is Ragnavalder going to show back up? Because he's apparently a god in his ending. Uh, wow. Is... Is Lagarde actually the Yellow Emperor, or is he like a horrifying flesh creature that Darce manifested, like, or re yeah, like you know Lagarde reincarnated or something? Exactly. Like, it's it's a big question now of like what the universe actually is. And like, is this one of those games where the sequel assumes all the worst possible endings happened or something? Yeah, that well, that's what I was going to say is it seems like that's isn't kind that of like, what it's doing. Isn't that like what the near universe is? <laughs> is sort like of, the yeah. worst endings of Drakengard <laughs> or something? Yeah. Fascinating. I cannot tell where I'm going or where I am, but every direction has a bad thing in it. There he is. Yeah, I see him pop up now. Go here? No. Ow. I don't know what the mechanic is for getting shot, like his accuracy and chart wind up or what. <laughs> Got him. Okay, I'm over here now somewhere. The poignant <laughs> rooftops of Prey will rise again above you. So I guess I'm in the city, but Yeah. I guess I'm supposed to sneak into the city via the sewers. Maybe that's how I then opened the gate, as I was said to do. I got more dirty toilet paper, so that's fun. Oh, yeah, you might. That, that might be what you need to do. I've got to, like, Trojan horse it. Oh, that's not a path. And also, oh. I'm pretty sure the god of fear and hunger exists, obviously, because oh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's Pocket Cat. Oh, it is! Hey! You hear distant laughing. It sounds cold and something. There's someone crouched over here. That's not good. Oh! There's a tall man here wearing what seems to be a rubber mask. Oh, oh, here I am, busy with my own business, completely ignoring this beautiful chap. All apologies. Pleased to meet you. 
You can call me Pocket Cat. <laughs> you have one of those familiar faces. I feel like we've met somewhere before. Perhaps in a past life. You're mistaking me uh, for someone else. Things sure have changed since then, haven't they? We live in peculiar times. The world has gone through true darkness. The world has been at a standstill, in a deep rest. People stocked up on toilet paper and hid in their... <laughs> <laughs> this is a <laughs> pandemic game. Get it? Get it? People stocked up on toilet paper and hid in their homes with their loved ones. They were waiting for that glimpse of light just because they knew that even the darkness has a breaking point. Say, old sport, what do you think follower what do you think follows such intense darkness? Hmm. Hmm. Remember, he liked it when we were honest with him. He was very upfront about that. <laughs> then that's the honest one. Uh, <laughs> the honesty is fuck off, weirdo. Uh, growth into something new technically is correct. Yeah. Because that's what Grogoroth promises. Growth into something new. Yes. Change is the only thing inevitable. And clubbing children in bags. For personal ex from personal experience, I'd say a true darkness is followed by chaos. The mind, or the common consciousness we all share, strives for something new. When one is truly done with the dark, one strives for new with such vigor that growing pains are inevitable. But there lies the danger. You see, chaos can ragdoll us into any one direction. The direction is not always toward the light. Sometimes one can find themselves lost in a limbo that is the chaos. When you enter the limbo from a dark place, there is a big chance you contaminate the chaos with your darkness and just create a new pitch black place. Maybe even darker than the one before. I guess I'm just rambling here. Letting my mind wander and mouth slander, as they say. You know me. When I get excited, I can go on and on and on. I didn't mean to take your time. From what I understand, you've got your hands full with the festival already. So I'll get straight to the point. Not only a wandering gentleman, but I am also a salesman of sorts with deep, deep pockets. What is the head's salesman, you ask? Well, it's exactly what it sounds. I'm willing to part from my valuable collection, if the price is right, and the price is severed heads of those participating in the festival. That's much more tenable than giving him living children. Yeah. The decapitated heads of, of the, the botanist. We Macabre. gotta kill people anyway. Or do we? There's nothing more consistent in death game narratives than the ability to subvert the death game, which is how almost every single one of them ends. <laughs> which is why this game is gonna make us play the death game, I think. <laughs> And how was, else are we going to afford all these good items? I was it's thinking a bargain, about, Keith. Yeah, I was thinking about the movie Circle. Not because it's particularly good, but just because it's a death game where they actually commit all the way through. It's just this inevitable, yeah. gruesome experience because there is no like, oh no, the breeding couple broke the rules and escaped. Macabre, I know, but you, you get used to it. God knows I did. That is what I have to offer. It is quite a nice collection, even if I say so myself. Zero contestant heads is all you've got. What do you want to trade them for? You get you get a book uh, of enlightenment. For us. It costs three dead people to get one save. 
<laughs> That's hella powerful. I mean, a yeah. save in this game is incredibly powerful. And he sells recipe books and skin Bibles. Yeah, the Alchemilia books would be really powerful. He has six skin Bible Bibles and four books of recipes. So there's that no way brutal. to get every one. No. I mean, you might be able to get all this, these books like just by finding them if you're really lucky, but like yeah, you can't we, purchase we already, everything. We already found saying. skin Bibles, yeah. Here's how you, here's an alternate way of getting them. Yeah, at some point, once we've like explored the world, we then have to like plan our like real route and choose like okay, which people are we killing and when and how and what and how, and what are we buying with these over here and doing that whole thing. But for now, we can't do shit. Nope. Happy to do business with you. It was truly a pleasure to meet you once again, but I fear I must go now. Even if you say that you've never met him before, he insists that you have. The yeah. tower you were headed towards is to the east of here, just beyond the church's hidden passage. That's useful info. Let us meet here again. Perhaps I'll even have a special deal for you. My pockets are very deep, you see. But until that time, old sport, take care, take care. That's enough of the background audio glitching out. There we go. It was like popping and glitching, and I was getting tired of it. You got a gas mask again. Yep. Makeshift armor, that's probably poopy bad. Okay. Yeah, I thought I was it worried is, that guy yeah. was gonna catch me. That guy was still following me. <laughs> As if I had to wait for the conversation. Uh, only a lone uh, wind howl. I just saw howl. Mind. Got no body it's healing. Really fascinating stuff, honestly. I got hungry. Hunger is not the biggest threat in this game. No. Healing is so hard to come by in these games. Lock from the other side! Yay! I'm so happy to be back in Yarnum. Oh, that was not a wall. <laughs> it looked like a wall. Just and laughing, cold and devoid of life. I thought that was a uh, pocket cat at first. A lot of missing people mm -hmm. looking notifications. Yeah. Ooh, the fuck is that? That's terrifying. Is that like a just a legless body just crawling at you? Yeah, with his dick out. Oh no. He was, he was half censored. Open the shutter, it doesn't budge. Something's making the noise. Maybe it's a hornet's nest? Something that attracts flies? Something buzzing. Interesting. Yep. What with the bodies and whatnot? Can't inspect that shutter. I shudder to consider it. <laughs> None of these work. Everyone's put the recycling out, though, so it's a decent neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> they have a real sense of civic responsibility. Yeah, check out these property values. He's fast. In the door. Bye. <laughs> Upsetting. <coughs> Cobwebs slowly <coughs> wave in the corner as you enter the building. I think lock picking really useful. Yeah, because I guess otherwise you have to beat doors down with your giant muscles. Yeah. That'll just wear you out. After a long day of beating off doors. Um, who left their meat on the floor? It's gonna get warm. Cold? Whatever the bad one is. <laughs> They don't have power in town either. The bed is full of gore. You don't feel like sleeping in it. Powered. Hmm. Swipe it off, dog. Yeah. Five hour rule. Average video game staircase. Oop. Stairs have been cut. Looks like someone did this intentionally. You got a creepy laugh. 
Get ready for a surprise! Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're getting human Nikki right now. <laughs> Ring of Still Blood, that's a really great item. <laughs> you should probably put that on. You need to look at it first, and we need to... Mm. Oop. <laughs> a ring that said yeah. to make blood still and thus prevent bleeding. There's no way to explain this, but magic! Yeah. Gas mask, frame and flame troopers. Flame troopers are often used in the city warfare. We use to scorch everything inside. It looks like... It looks like the face of the the dominant one. The dominant one in the first game, the 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 fi the final god that we fought before oh, yeah, the, the gold like, guy. Yeah. But I don't have the other one anymore. Makeshift armor gives me bad agility, but I'm not good at agility now, am I? So maybe I should wear the makeshift you are, armor. You are. You. Ten agility is still way better than one. Um. I'm trying to remember how to shoot. You, I think, press a button in the overworld. But then you're screwed if you man if you don't get your uh don't equip your axe by the time the battle starts, and I don't think shooting people stops them from moving. Yeah, I'm nervous. I just I would yeah, like I to wouldn't. shoot her real quick. Hmm. Oh, In the Navy. Okay. Why do I have dirty toilet paper? Wow, you can get infect you can get an infection, but in order to stop bleeding. Cool. I think here's very helpful. Heroin. Pep pills. I want plus speed. Might help with the fight. I can blind myself. That's exciting. And that I can just not know the fight's happening. That's like a fun outcome for me. We never got to try pep pills because I'd blocked off the screen and they did and they instantly disappeared apparently. Yeah. Hi. The crazed old hag slowly rises up from the rags. Uh, what if I just take out her arm that she's rat to walk? lady. The rat lady. Yeah, I'd say hit her arm first, then her leg. Oh, she's summoning a rat. Uh, no. <laughs> we, I'm, mm, a mischief of rats. Extra turn from speed up. Attack her head, maybe. Stop. Just go for a torso. Ah, fuck. Oh no, this is scary. I'm just always stuck with low health and gonna die the moment a fight starts most of the time. Ah! You're victorious, yeah. But I'm infected and I can't cure it, I don't think. You have a green herb, don't you? I was victorious, I don't think so. Yeah, you do. Oh, there you have is. seven green herbs. Oh my god. Eight I health. Think that ah, you. ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 